Anthony Chikumba, one stock you have a buy rating on is Pier 1. Stock's down around 20% year to date. Will they see a lot of pent up demand after the real harsh winter? I think so. Pier 1 Imports is definitely a retailer whose uh, Q4 results were hurt by the bad w w winter. And they were sort of unique in that they have a February year end, so their Q4 was December, January, February three very, very difficult months. One reason that I feel that is that in their non-weather impacted markets such as Florida, California, you know, those sales, those stores had very strong uh, same store sales growth. They've also seen a pickup since the weather's improved. You're also bullish on GameStop. It's also down around 20% year to date. They're closing stores, but it does pay a nice 3.5% dividend. Are they gonna cut it maybe? Absolutely not. Uh, GameStop generates very strong free cash flow. They use that free cash flow to pay the dividend, as you said. Uh, the rest of it they use to buy back stock. We are very early in the new video game console cycle. You've seen the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One come out. Uh, the hardware sales have been wildly uh, above anyone's expectations. Um, this is a razor and a razor blade business. So the more of these consoles you sell at very low margins, uh, the more software you sell later on, uh, and that's where GameStop really makes their money. And then finally, Restoration Hardware. This stock has done fairly well over the past year. Definitely stylish stuff. We've seen a pullback in housing. Will that affect Restoration Hardware going forward? I don't think it will affect them too much. I mean, basically what Restoration Hardware is doing is they are transforming their real estate. They're going from these very small kind of 10,000 square foot mall-based locations to much larger freestanding, in many cases freestanding locations, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 square feet, where they can actually show more of their merchandise and they find if they have the product at retail as opposed to just on the catalog uh, and online, they literally get a 50 to 150% sales lift. It also allows them to do light, what they call lifestyle merchandising. So in other words, you walk into a room and it looks like a real bedroom, but everything in the store is on sale. So it really helps the consumer to figure out how they can buy these products and use them in their home. In many cases, the consumer will come in and literally walk in and say, I want, the, I want this, I want the entire room. All right, thanks a lot, Anthony. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching The Street.